Hey guys, welcome back to Explainer X today, I am going to recap a 2004 drama romance movie, Name the Door in the Floor, so, let's begin. The movie begins with a beach house built on the island, where we see a very good author named Ted. Ted lives here with his wife Marion and his daughter Ruth. The wall of their house is filled with pictures of their sons Tom and Tim. In fact, a few years ago, both of his sons had died in a car accident, and Marion could not bear this shock and since then till now she lives in depression. On the other hand Ted is busy with his work, and Ruth is taken care of by her babysitter Alice. Ruth also comes to know about the accident of his brothers, and Ruth always looks at the pictures of her dead brothers. One day Ted hires an assistant for himself, so that the assistant can do small tasks for him and at the same time he can also do the work of driver for him. Because Ted's driving license was cancelled three months ago, whose name is Eddie. Then Ted tells Marion about Eddie, and then these two talk for a while. We get to know this by listening to their words. That since the death of his son, a lot of distance has increased in the relationship between them. And Marion, being in shock, doesn't say much. Now seeing his relationship in such condition, Ted tells Marion that for some time we should get away from each other, and Marion agrees to it too, and goes to stay in a hotel in the city. On the same night, Ruth gets scared seeing a dream, and Ruth goes to Ted and tells him about her dream. Then Ted tells him a story and puts him to sleep, and then Ted starts writing a book about Ruth's dream. The next morning Marion goes to pick up Eddie, because today Eddie was about to start his assistant job. Then Eddie comes over and sees that instead of Ted, his wife has come to pick him up. Then when Eddie sees Marion, she finds him very beautiful, and then he is also very attracted towards her. And then Marion drops Eddie at Ted's house, and then goes to her hotel. And then Ted meets Eddie, and Ted tells him his work. And Ted tells him this too, that you will have to live in this house from now on. Actually Eddie admires Ted a lot, and Eddie wants to be a successful writer like Ted. That's why Eddie is very happy to be here. And Ted shows him the whole house. And while doing so, he also tells her about his deteriorating deteriorating marriage life. That's how Marion and he are living apart from each other. Then we also find out that one day Marion stays at the hotel and stays at Ted Hotel for one day so that Ruth can get the love of both the parents. After this Eddie also meets Ruth's babysitter Alice. She was a very nice girl. Apart from writing Ted books, he also makes paintings. He always makes clothes less paintings of girls. And Ted hires a girl named Evelyn to be his model. Then the next day Marion comes here and Eddie also follows him to the theater. It meets Eddie Marion and tells him that he had come here to have dinner because he does not give food from Ted at home. After hearing this, Marion tells him that one day I want to take you to dinner. That same night when Eddie comes back home, then he starts giving pleasure to himself after seeing Marion's photo. But then Ted and Ruth also come there and Eddie narrowly escapes. The next day when Marion comes here, then Eddie follows him to a beach and then Eddie shuts up and sees Marion in a bikini. After this he comes home and sees Marion's undergarment and then he starts giving pleasure to himself. But then Marion comes home, and Marion sees Eddie doing this. Marion says sorry to Eddie, that he should have come by tip. Now Eddie was very ashamed of being caught like this. But Marion tells him, that she is not angry with him, and at his age everyone does it. Then Eddie tells Marion, that from the day he saw Marion, since then he thinks about her. Hearing this, Marion does not say anything and remains silent. The next day when Eddie drops Ted at Evelyn's house, then see Eddie, that Marion herself has left her underwear here for her. Then that evening, Marion goes to dinner with Eddie, and Marion Eddie talks a lot. Marion asks Eddie, that's why you don't take Alice on a date, to which Eddie says, that Alice is not interested in him. Now after talking like this for a long time, both come home. The next day Marion comes to Eddie's room, and then she tells Eddie the story behind all the photos in the walls. Now telling this, Marion seduces Eddie, and then they both get intimate. The next day Ted goes to a place with Eddie, where Ted reads its book to ten people. Eddie learns after hearing Ted's story, that Ted writes all his books on his own life. After that when he is coming home, then Ted thanks Eddie. Because since Eddie came here, Marion has started being happy after a long time. Now a few days later, one night, Ruth comes to Marion's room, and Ruth sees Eddie and Marion getting intimate. Seeing this, Ruth starts crying, and then Marion calms him down. Now Ted also gets to know about this affair, and then Ted talks to Eddie about it in the car the next day. Ted tells him, that's what I want when Marion and I have a divorce, that you testify on my behalf against Marion and tell about your offer so that I could get Ruth's custody. Now after hearing all this Eddie asks Marion, that's why he's still with Ted. 
To which Marion tells that Ted is a very good father, and he also takes good care of Ruth. And Marion tells this too, that he hates Ted's painting habit too much. And initially he used to make nude pictures of Marion too. Now some days go by like this. And one night Eddie asks Marion how their children had an accident. After hearing this, Marion again remembers her dead sons. And then she doesn't say anything. On the same night that Eddie was showing all the pictures to Ruth, Ruth then asks to take a picture to her room. And Marion agrees to it. But Ruth drops that picture. And his finger is cut by the broken glass. Eddie and Marion take him to the doctor. And then when Ted comes to know about it, then Ted scolds Eddie a lot. That's why he had given the picture to Ruth. While this work belonged to Marion. At night, Ruth again starts crying after having a scary dream. Her Ted tries to calm her down enough, but she doesn't calm down. After this Marion comes there, and then she pacifies Ruth. Seeing this, Ted gets realized that after the divorce, Ruth should stay with Marion because Ruth will be happy there. The next day, while Marion is getting intimate with Eddie, Marion suddenly starts crying. And then Marion Eddie explains that she is going to leave all this soon and go somewhere. That same day Ted hires Eddie to go to Evelyn's house and return all her paintings. Because now Ted's mind was filled with Evelyn. When Eddie goes to Evelyn's house, so knowing this, Evelyn gets very angry and tells Eddie that Ted will have to come to meet him on Friday. But meanwhile Evelyn accidentally blocks the door of her house. And then Eddie breaks into the window of his house and goes inside. In the evening, Marion tells Eddie that on Friday you will go to drop Ted at Evelyn's house, but will not bring it back. By doing this it will be evening for Ted to come home by himself. In such a time, taking all the pictures of my sons, I will go away from here forever. And then the next day when Eddie takes Ted to Evelyn's house, Evelyn was very angry. He tore away all the paintings sent by Ted. And then Eddie leaves Ted at Evelyn's house and comes back home. Marion then sends Ruth to see the doctor with Eddie. Because if Ruth is here then she will not be able to leave from here. On the other hand, Evelyn follows Ted's life. And Evelyn also tries to crush Ted with her car. But Ted runs near the beach. Here Eddie goes to the picture shop after getting Ruth's stitch removed. Or he was given to repair that broken picture. After going there, Eddie asks him for that picture today. Because she knew that when Ruth would reach home, she would go mad for not seeing her mother in the picture. But when Eddie asks for that picture, so the manager here refuses to give Eddie the picture. On which Eddie writes to them and explains the whole thing. He also tells them about his and Marion's affair. And the manager after hearing all this, she also gives the picture. On the other hand Ted runs to a bookshop or he gets many fans, and starts giving them his autograph. Here Ted's eyes go on two young girls, who was his big fan, asks them, whether she can drop him at his house. Both the girls take him to their house first, where Ted changes his clothes. After this Ted tells the girls and their mother, that he wants to paint her, and for this they all happily agree. After this, with the help of Ted girls, he comes home early, and coming home early, he sees Marion leaving. Then Ted turns to him, but nothing speaks to her and Marion moves from here to New York forever. After some time Eddie comes here with Ruth. Ted was very angry at Eddie and then slaps him but instead hits Eddie with a punch in the nose. Because Marion told him to do so, Eddie tells Ted that Marion is now gone somewhere forever. Along with this, all the pictures of Marion's sons have also been taken. And now Ted has no pictures of his sons left. Now that Ted comes to know about all this, then he fires Eddie from the job and only tomorrow asks him to leave from here. After Marion's departure, it became very difficult to handle Ruth. And so her babysitter Alice also leaves the job. Now Ted was very sad because of all this and tells Eddie in the evening. That's how their children children had an accident. Actually that night, these people had gone to skin. And Marion Ted and his two sons were drunk because of the drink. The other son was driving at that time, who did not even have much driving experience. There was snow on the headlight and backlight of the car, like Ted forgot to clean. And due to not seeing the car, a truck collided with his car on the highway, in which both his sons were killed. To ease this suffering, she gave birth to Ruth, but that didn't change anything. Now Eddie feels very bad after hearing this story, but he did not understand this. How can a mother leave her daughter? Now the next day Evelyn's servant comes to meet Ted and tells him now that Evelyn has fired her from her job. Hearing this, Ted hires him as a driver and puts his wife on the job of Cook and Ruth's babysitter here. After this, Eddie goes back to his house after saying goodbye to Ted. Evelyn's servant and his wife have started taking good care of Ruth. And this movie ends here. So I hope you enjoy the video. So click any video of three them and enjoy next and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Thank Thank you for watching see you soon.